the Reality plugin for DAS Studio allows you to create realistic images with a minimum effort and maximum result. Let's see how it works. Here I have the Sky Deck by Stonemason and I'm gonna call Reality directly from Studio. So once you have it installed, you just have to look in the render menu and here it is, Reality Render. Once you call it, Reality will convert your materials to deluxe materials. In this case, it is detecting that there is no light defined in the scene, and so it adds a sunlight automatically. And you can change that light or you know keep it the way it is. In fact, we can look here in the scene tab, the sun has been added. So this is the main interface of reality, shows you the materials. All the materials have been converted automatically. This conversion is in addition. It doesn't change anything in your shaders tab. Everything that you had in studio is left exactly as it was before, but reality took all the settings and converted them into lux materials. And uh, here you can see that material type, in this case it's glass, this is glossy, and here you can see the parameters. And in the case of materials with textures, the textures are, of course, converted. Okay, so from here you can simply hit render frame and you're done. But let's take a look at a few other parameters. For example, the wood panel. That is a little bit of floor right here in front of the doors. If I look at the glossiness, that seems a little high. In reality, the glossiness is a direct number. The higher the number, the glossier the material is. It's that simple. 95% glossiness seems a little high, but you know, we can know this for sure. We can just click preview and reality is gonna give us a quick preview of the material. That's pretty neat. And it is rather shiny. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. See, 89%. Let's try again. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Then we're going to move on and look at the glass material. Now I can sort all my materials by type. So I click on the material header and now I have all the glass materials together. So why do I want to change glass? Well, in this scene, the glass pane here in front of the door really doesn't have any prominent role. So I don't want to spend more time than necessary with that. And I can just click on architectural. Architectural means that Lux is gonna do a simpler simulation of the glass. It still has reflection, it's still transparent, it still has an index or refraction. And by the way, here you can select the index or refraction that you want. There are dozens and dozens of presets. Diamond, crystal, emerald, and so on. Anyway, we're gonna leave it unchanged, except that we're gonna click on architectural. We are gonna do it for this glass, this glass, and this glass. Then we can go through our camera panel. Nothing to do here yet our output panel. We have the frame size that is taken directly from DAS Studio. You can change here how much of this you want. If you want 50%, it's gonna be correctly 400 by 225. We're gonna go for 100% of the frame. And uh, just click on render frame. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what's happening here. And reality, takes your scene, exports it to Lux, and calls Lux automatically. Now Lux 
is rendering actually it's loading the scene so right now Lux is loading the file that we just created and now it's rendering the scene and no this is not an attempt at being an impressionistic painter it's just the first pass boom there you go this is the sky deck with one sunlight that we didn't even change and as you see as we speak at 27 28 seconds Lux keeps rendering now even at this stage we can see that there will be reflections here and here now this is something that you might want to keep or not maybe you don't want this floor to be that shiny but you have complete control but this is a quick rendering that gives you immediately a sense of the scene so now you can leave that rendering and you can click back to Daz Studio you can close reality and you can go and tweak your parameters so for example we can take the Sun and move it the Sun is right here now the position of the Sun and the inclination of the Sun automatically change the light quality that you have in the sky so if the Sun is closer to the horizon then it will be more yellow orange shifting toward that part of the spectrum one thing I want to try is to move the Sun behind and, uh, and see what happens reality actually Lux has support for indirect lighting so even if the Sun is behind the building the whole scene will be lit let's see how it works I'm gonna switch to the perspective view so I don't change my camera angle I have my Sun here now I already have some parameters that uh, kind of work for this so I'm gonna just type them in, in the fields for the Z translate we have minus 642 rotate 164 57 I prepared this before when I was designing this tutorial now if you're wondering where the Sun is let me click on the scene and here it is it's right here <laughs> so it's way behind if we change the background color it will be easier to spot those elements here you go all right so as you can see the front of the scene is rather dark and that's because the studio preview doesn't have indirect lighting most programs don't have that kind of feature in the preview now there is a way in reality to solve this problem so for example I'd like to see what's inside this door because I cannot judge my scene so what I can do is this I'm gonna add a new spotlight I call it well let's call it spotlight one for now but we will change it and I'm gonna apply this viewport and I accept it now I can see my scene now I don't want to render this light because this is just for use during my posing or my setup this is what it's called on the film set a house light so now what I'm gonna do is to change the name of this to house lights one and you'll see in a moment why now I can see the scene I can judge my angle I can go back to my camera now I can see my frame correctly let's call reality again so gathering information now let's check what happened with our glass the glass is still architectural so reality remembers your settings if you close it and you start it again so let's go to the lights panel and see the house lights 
are listed here, but they are off. You can turn on and off your lights, but if you call your lights house lights, whatever, it can be house lights one, house lights two, house lights, you call it whatever you want. As long as they start with house lights, reality will do the housekeeping by itself. So it will turn off the light so you don't have an additional light that you only use for posing. And um, here we have everything already set up. So let's try to render. Uh oh, wait a second. We still have <laughs> Lux rendering in the background. And so while we were setting up the scene, the image, the render has been refined even more. It's not too bad for one single light. I love this spot here where the railings is reflecting on the surface. Very nice. Anyway, let's close it. And now we can render again and see what happens with this new position of the sun. Again, it is exported. Lux is started. There is a little time for Lux to read the scene from a file. And we can immediately see that the tone of the scene is different. Even though the details are kind of spotty. And now we can see the light coming clearly from this side. And still we see beautiful highlights in here. And I can already see a little hint of a reflection caused by the Fresnel effect on the glass pane. And so this is how a typical workflow of using reality in DAS Studio is. Thank you for watching.